Looking for lifetime deals? Well, how about 10 of AppSumo's most popular tools back for just 96 hours as part of AppSumo's last call? We're talking about client portals, SEO tools, AI video generation, and a whole lot more. But there is a catch. You need to be an AppSumo Plus member in order to get access to these tools. My name is Dave Swift, and I've reviewed almost every single one of these tools. There's only one I have not done a full-length review on, so watch this video and let me help you decide which ones are worth your money. Now, before we dive in, full disclosure, AppSumo did reach out to me and ask me to help spread the word about this last call event. This is a sponsored video, but the thing is, I've already reviewed all of these tools independently, and those reviews are linked down below if you want to watch the full-length videos. Now, about last call, it's running from January 27th through January 31st. It's an exclusive to AppSumo Plus members, and if you're not familiar with Plus, it's their $99 a year membership. It gives you 10% off of everything at AppSumo while you're a member, and extends your buyer protection policy to a full year when you buy select deals. It also gets you access to sales like this and early access to deals almost every week. Honestly, if you buy more than a few lifetime deals per year, it pays for itself pretty quickly. Okay, first up is super okay. This is a client portal tool that finally solves the problem of, hey, where's that file you sent me? It creates a branded space where your clients can book services, share files, and of course, track project progress. Now, what I really like about super okay is how it handles project organization. You get unlimited projects, task management, and separate views for your teams and clients. There is white labeling that's very good and it's available on tier two and above. Now, Super OK is really good, but it's not perfect. The design templates honestly feel a little bit on the dated side to me, and the brand colors don't always carry through consistently as you create new objects inside of the platform. I give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10, and I think at $69, it is a solid value if you need a dedicated client portal. Up next is Notch. This one really impressed me. It's kind of like a combination of Google Docs and DocuSign. You create spaces for different projects, collaborate in real time, and then you can have people actually sign documents, handle e-signatures, and you don't even have to jump between multiple applications. Notch uses space-based organization, and I think it's really intelligent how they accomplish it. Basically, each space can have multiple pages and documents, which makes it perfect for complex client projects. Document signing is very easy. No more need to export to PDF, upload to DocuSign, download, and then send all of that nonsense. Just do everything inside of Notch. They can sign right Right there. I did find a few quirks back in my original testing. Safari, if you like using that browser like I do, the support for Safari wasn't as good as it was on Chrome. And overall, the platform had a few hiccups where it just felt a little bit slow. But overall, I really loved it. I gave it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. This was one of the more innovative document tools I saw all of last year. Moving on to cold email, Mail Lead tracks cold email differently. Instead of limiting users or mailboxes, you just get a monthly email quota. Even on tier one, you get unlimited team members and mailboxes. The deliverability features really impressed me about MailLead. You get email verification, smart sending limits, and detailed analytics. The automation builder is robust and the interface is clean. If you're a developer and you want API access, you will need tier three for that. I ended up giving MailLead a 7.8 out of 10. It's one of the better cold email tools that I've reviewed recently. All right, let's talk about Butternut AI. This is a wild tool. It generates entire websites in about 20 seconds using AI. I made a video, I think it was like 40 minutes long and every comment was, hey, why do you need a 40 minute video to explain how to make a 20 second website? But basically the way this tool works is you give it a description, what the business is all about, and then boom, you got a multi-page website with content and structure, and you can go in and tweak it to be just right, but overall, everything's kind of done in that instant. It also has a built-in chatbot and auto blog generation. Now, these are cool features. Uh, the SEO is handled automatically. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to add any plugins and then set up the plugins like you might have to do in WordPress. It's all just built right into the platform. But the downside is that the overall design's leave you feeling like you're maybe looking at a website from about 2004. Everything feels just a little bit dated. And the worst part is the customization is really limited here. I ended up giving this one a 5.3 out of 10. The technology is very impressive, but it needs a lot of work before I'd recommend it as your primary business website, especially if you're not, you know, a growth hacker where you have 15 different businesses. If you're focusing 
focusing on just one or two businesses, definitely do it the legit way for now. AI is getting close, but it's not quite there yet. All right, let's talk SEO. Ranklytics is a SEO powerhouse. It gives you features that usually cost thousands of dollars per month inside of a lifetime deal. The keyword research is comprehensive. There's a content gap analysis feature that was spot on, and the AI content generation is actually pretty useful. Site audits are thorough, and the competitor analysis gives you actionable insights. The main downside of Ranklytics is simply that the interface needs some work. Some features are a little bit hard to find, and sorting options could definitely be a lot better. But still, I gave this one an 8.2 out of 10. For some serious SEO work, it is an excellent value, especially if you don't want to pay the thousands of dollars a month for something like Ahrefs. All right, let's talk CRMs. NinjaPipe is an all-in-one CRM that starts off at 59 bucks. And I'm going to be direct with you. I originally reviewed NinjaPipe back in, I believe it was August of 2024, and it was one of the rougher reviews I did all year long. Now, the NinjaPipe team replied to that video saying they were going to fix literally everything that I mentioned that was wrong with the tool, I think within some really obscenely small amount of time. Unfortunately, that time came and went and I didn't really see any substantive changes to the CRM platform but I recently checked it out again and lo and behold they've updated quite a few things is everything fixed no because that would probably take a year or so but they are definitely heading in the right direction in my original review I gave ninja pipe a 4.1 out of 10 I'm not ready to rescore it yet but it's worth giving a look if you're looking for a new CRM and maybe you're tired of spending all of that cash on pipe drive every single month but let me know if you've tried this tool out and you've been using it regularly maybe it's worthwhile now leave me a comment down below jog AI lets you clone yourself well sort of it creates AI power videos using either a pre-made avatar or one based on your own footage. The lip sync technology here is some of the best that I've seen, especially in this price range in the LTD class. The voice generation is surprisingly natural and you even get multilingual support and various templates to choose from. Now the actual avatar creation can be a little bit finicky, but once you get it going, you've got it established, you can reuse it as much as you like. Now longer videos are going to require a higher tier from AppSumo, so definitely check the pricing tiers to find one that works for you. Overall, I gave Jog a 7.4 out of 10. It's great for scaling video personalization if that's something your business needs. Just about every business struggles with finding leads and Muriana helps you find B2B leads with AI-powered search across a database of 140 million profiles. The way it works is you just describe your ideal customer in plain English and it finds matching prospects for you. Now, in practice, I found that just using the regular old filters and searching worked a little bit better for me personally, but you know, maybe they've improved that in time. It's been a while since I checked in with them. So other than that, the email verification is built in. It's very reliable. The contact data seems genuinely accurate, but with 140 million leads, obviously I didn't thoroughly test every single one, but the interface is clean and the export options are very flexible. Higher tiers are gonna be needed if you need API access. And honestly, some industries are just gonna do better with this tool than others. So I recommend trying it out and you can always take advantage of AppSumo return policy if it doesn't work for your industry. Overall, I gave Muriana a 7.1 out of 10. It's a solid choice for B2B lead generation. VLoud is the only tool in this last call sale that I don't have a dedicated full length video on. So let me just summarize for you what it does. VLoud allows you to create a Netflix style platform or even a live streaming service. Basically, if you need advanced features for streaming your content online, you wanna protect your content, you wanna run ads using industry standard platforms, VLoud is definitely something to look at. Finally, let's talk about quick ads. This is the tool that helps you create better ads in two different ways. First, it has a massive library of successful ads that you can browse from. Over 5 million real ads that are running on platforms like TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. The AI analyzes these ads and tells you why they work. Things like how clear the message is, how engaging it is, and whether or not it fits the brand. Now, the other way that it can help you is it can help you create ads using AI. You just give it a product URL or a description, and then it can generate both images as well as videos using AI. You get access to over 10,000 templates, AI voiceovers, and even virtual product photography. Plus, you can post directly on your social media accounts from the platform. 
Now, I do need to mention that when I reviewed Quick Ads, I had some really serious concerns about how well it worked. It was one of the most frustrating tools that I ever had reviewed in my entire time, almost six years now reviewing tools on YouTube. But the team responded incredibly quickly and they fixed over 80 bugs. They even posted a comment on the original video and they've added a ton of new features in, a dash, in addition to fixing all of those bugs. So I've not tested all of these improvements yet, but I do wanna give everybody a fair shake. So if you've been using quick ads all this time and it's genuinely gotten a lot better, make sure you let the community know by leaving me a comment on this video. I definitely applaud them for taking quick action and just know that I review you know hundreds of tools per year, so there's no way I can go back right away to do a full review of quick ads, but I wanna hear about it. What do you think of quick ads? Let me know. All right, last call is running right now. Remember, you've got just 96 hours and you do need to be an AppSumo Plus member in order to access these deals. If you're not a Plus member yet, now might be the time to sign up because that 10% discount can add up pretty quick on these higher tier purchases. I've linked all of my full length reviews down below along with my link to AppSumo if you wanna support the channel before making your last call purchase. Drop me a comment if you've used any of these tools and you wanna share your experiences or you need a little bit of help with a buying decision. I'd love to help you out with that as well. My name is Dave. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.